Happy Halloween, guys. Or at least that's what I would be saying if I was actually on time with the shit. Sorry about that. And I planned a stream for that night too, and it didn't work out. Technical bullshit once again. And this time it was a simple problem that I just didn't realize until recently. I just had to turn off a program before I streamed due to compatibility issues with the streaming program like XSplit or OBS. Fuck me in the ass. Anyways, guys, what is going on? Hope you all had a safe Halloween. Because I can tell you for a fact that mine sure wasn't safe, nigga. That shit was turned the fuck up. We went in. And plus, not only is it Halloween in October, but for me, it's also a special time because it is Christine's birthday on the 26th. Therefore, there was a whole week of debauchery, parties, good times, good people, and just an overall amazing mashup of stuff. We went to a nice romantic dinner, and you know, we had to live it up in that end, and we both had a great time there. But of course, the turn up is absolutely necessary for a birthday celebration and for Halloween as well. We decorated the entire place, invited a bunch of our best friends over, and we had a goddamn shindig that will be remembered for years to come, my boy. It was not a goddamn joke. There are some pictures that you're gonna see on the screen right now, but everyone was in that bitch. My nigga Kobe was there, Shizzy was there, my man Ben was in that bitch. We had a bunch of people, we had her best friends there. Nigga, we had like fucking 20 people in here capped up at one time. The cat didn't know what the fuck to do. It was absolute insanity. At some point during the night, I like got lost and everyone was worried. They didn't know where the fuck I went. I, to be honest with you guys, I was so fucking gone, even I don't know where the fuck I went. But I came back and I got like some fucking weird dark bruise on my chest. I don't know if you guys can see that, maybe you can get like a closer look. It looks like fucking Zero Suit Sandwich forward smashed me, but you know how she forward smashes with the, with the gun and she has like the fire on the end, she just boom. It looked like she fucking duffed the hell out of my chest with this shit. I came back with injuries, I was sore all over the place, and we still had a damn good time. I could have been abducted for all we know. <laughs> I could have been taken in by aliens on a mothership, nigga. Who gives a damn? It's Halloween, nigga. Finally back from all the partying and the celebrating, and I'm back to give you guys some more consistent content, which is the specialty here on the EWN. I know you niggas been waiting, so let's get into it. Now, seeing as how it's a creepy time of year, but then again, a lot of niggas are now switching to the holiday season. I mean, here's the thing that pisses me off, dog. As soon as Halloween ends, and it's only two days ago, you know, so it's relatively close by, niggas are now switching their shit to Christmas themes instead of Halloween themes. Like, nigga, come on, bro. Okay, we've seen stores do this shit. You go into a Riot Aid or a CVS, they're gonna have holiday decorations up already. They probably had those shits up like two weeks into October. But give some respect to Halloween, dog. As soon as Halloween ends, a bunch of niggas wanna change their Twitter handles to ones that represent Christmas seasons. I can't stand you niggas like, come on bro in fact it's so ridiculously over the top how fast niggas be switching faces as soon as halloween's over that i think that in itself has become a goddamn meme i love the internet that's all i can say but halloween's a creepy time of year and it may just be that way for the wii u or so we thought. Now, there was a rumor that was passing around for a couple of weeks which said that the Wii U was going to be stopping production relatively soon at some point in November, and it was apparently going to happen this Friday. Well, Nintendo had to speak out against that and say, uh, actually, no, we are not. Let's take a look at the article on Nintendo Everything real quick and see why Nintendo suddenly wants to say, wait, wait, hold on, no, no, Wii U production ain't stopping. I don't know where you heard this from, uh, <laughs> Emily Rogers. I don't know where you heard this from, but, uh, no, it ain't stopping. It's just still good. Trust me, Wii U, holiday 2016, man, let's go. No, 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 Nintendo, stop it. Yesterday, Eurogamer woke up with a report. Okay, Eurogamer. But Emily Rogers backed it up. Still, though, no shade to Emily. No shade to Emily. I don't want niggas to be like, oh, Etika's got beef with her. Nah, hell nah, nigga. I'm just saying, she pushed it. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, but most of the time she's right. They wrote up a report stating that the Wii production will be wrapping up by the end of the week, but Nintendo came out stating that there are no such plans. They want to end that shit, end that talk right away. There is no change to our continuing Wii U production, a spokesperson told the Japanese outlet IT Media, while the representative started out by saying that he or she was unaware of the article's specifics. Speculation about Wii U production ending was not true. And of course, we all want to jump the gun when it comes to the Wii U's demise. Niggas can't wait for that shit to die off, dog, so we can switch to the Switch, nigga. I mean, come on, let's just be real here. Like, I, I know there's a bunch of great titles on the Wii U, and the Wii U's library itself wasn't bad. I mean, it lacked a lot of the uh, third-party multi-plats that were AAA titles that we all craved. But you know what? It's all good. The first parties were still solid as hell in the Wii U, and it will always be respected by Nintendo fanboys like myself. 
However, the switch is the switch. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to make it, nigga. Let's keep reading the article. Representative further added, even though the Nintendo Switch is slated to go on sale, Wii U production is scheduled to continue, and on top of it all, the person explained that there's also upcoming Wii U titles planned for release. At this point? Wii U games? Come on, nigga. I, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the hacking scene for the Nintendo Wii U, but it is pandemonium over there right now because the Wii U has not been updated in God knows how long, and there are so many exploits being able to run off that bitch. Not to brag, but I'm getting cahoots with a lot of top-notch hackers, and they're telling me that Etika right now, it's a field day on the Wii U. Niggas are inside of its asshole, and they are cleaning that bitch out, man. So all I'm saying is now's a great time to be a Wii U owner, all right? Um, does it sound familiar? It should. Earlier in the year, Nikkei, that's another um, publisher of news that usually says that they have inside information from Nintendo. They claim that Wii production will be finished by the end of the year. Nintendo came out and denied the report. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to take into account here if we're going to talk about Nintendo ending production for the Wii U. First off, even if they were, why the fuck would they admit that? I mean, it's obviously going to kill the sales of their console, but then again, you shouldn't be thinking like that because you announced a Switch. That's already going to be a console killer right there. But Nintendo was really trying to maintain that they can produce the Wii U, 3DS, and the Switch at the same time without any of those eating into the sales of the other. All right, Nintendo, I, I believe in you guys. Sometimes you seem a little delusional, but I'll trust your judgment here. I still think it's somewhat flawed, though. I guess I can say I'm happy that the Wii production is still going. It will kind of suck for them to stop right before the holiday season. They're probably going to get a bulk of their sales. This will be the last the last moment that the Wii U has time in the sun to shine. So um, if it doesn't go out this year, I predict that it'll happen by February of next year, or maybe even later, maybe by summertime of 2017. They probably want to squeeze out as many sales of the Wii U as possible, and why cannibalize those when you cut off production of it so close to the release of Breath of the Wild, which is a very highly anticipated Wii U game. I don't think they're going to slow down production of the Wii U's until Breath of the Wild comes out because it's most likely going to be a seller for that system. But you still have funny ass memes like this of uh, TGN here. Like, what the fuck is this, TGN? These niggas said, oh, Nintendo said all reports of stopping the Wii U are false, but we can't help but wonder <laughs> what it'll feel like when that day comes. These niggas posting memes and shit on this bitch, man. Like, what the hell, man? What the hell is that? TGN, are you niggas serious? <laughs> You <laughs> burning nigga. <laughs> that shit is fucking perfect. Look at this nigga's face. <laughs> He's like, fuck. It's gone, man. It's gone. Rest in peace. It's over, nigga. <laughs> it's over, dog. That'll be a very sad day uh, for the very few of us that own a Wii U. I mean, it's not like there's a minuscule amount. You got like 13 mil. It'll still be remembered as a great first party system for Nintendo games. R.I.P. when the day does finally come. Moving on to something that's even more interesting in regards to Pokemon Sun and Moon, the game's coming out later this month on the 18th, but we could be seeing it released a hell of a lot earlier than that. And I ain't talking about through legal means. You know what I mean. Some hacks, niggas, some dirty shit. These niggas might be able to get Sun and Moon to be playable way earlier than that. And it, maybe it has something to do with preloads, or maybe it has something to do with early cart releases. Let's take a look at this article real quick, which talks about it from Nintendo World Report. These guys are real cool. Shout out to them. Even Europe can get in on the most pre-ordered game in Nintendo history. Now, if you don't know how this works out, usually ahead of time, Nintendo will let you download a game to your console and it gets released for you to play on the day of its release but you can still have the data there so you don't have to take a huge download the day that it actually comes out if you're getting a digital that is hackers are trying to crack their way into that preload download data to be able to get access to playing the game early so this is basically just talking about how the game is available for preload right now but i'm trying to look at the other side of things I'm trying to look at the motherfucking hackers, and I know a lot of people aren't going to like the fact that I am, but if the shit is happening and if it's bleeding edge, I want to be able to be at least be informed about it. Now, you know, I'm not promoting piracy or anything of the sort, but if the shit is happening, I want to be in on the no. And so here's what the latest thing is from the hacking scene when it comes to Pokemon Sun and Moon and this preload data. Can this shit be played early? Can this shit be available way before the 18th? It's in the air right now. Let's take a look at this real quick, guys. 
I, um, as you can see here, I'm on 3DSI, so this is one of the most fucking illegal websites on the planet. <laughs> they are probably the biggest thorn in Nintendo's side when it comes to uh, piracy, and not just that, but uh, homebrew and other little things. I mean, I say that in a joking manner. This is actually a cool website. It's a cool community, and I can tell that Nintendo's had their eye on this place for a while. There's a dedicated thread here which has a bunch of people lurking about in regards to the Pokemon Sun and Moon preload data. Now, hackers, of course, will be able to get this data and play around with it, but sadly, it is not going to be playable due to a couple of security functions which are really hard to crack. The games won't be playable until the seed is released on the 18th of November. So kind of trying to give you guys a nutshell version of this, it basically means that Pokemon Sun and Moon has three layers and two of those layers were broken. But the third layer is basically a 128 character password. 128! And you have to guess each and every single one of those integers, integers excuse me, correctly or else you can't get into the game whatsoever. Isn't that crazy? So therefore, we're probably not going to see the game be able to be played early. Just like when the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo had kind of like early access to the preload data. But, or rather, it was on the eShop early, but you couldn't access it until the day of. When the day comes, uh, the 18th, you'll be able to get the password, which will be able to unlock the game, and you'll be able to play it. But until then, the only way that an early release of this game could happen is if someone gets their hands on the actual physical game cart early and dumps that bitch online. The chances of this are relatively high. We've seen it with a lot of major releases. Someone's able to get their hands on the game way before, maybe like an entire week before in some situations. Could we potentially be seeing someone get their hands on a, on a illegal copy of Sun and Moon super early? We gotta wait and see, but I think it'll definitely happen. So expect to see Sun and Moon shit start to come out at around, you know, the 10th of November maybe. And it also depends on if the person who gets that early copy is going to even dump the game on the internet in the first place. If they dump it, it's curtains for fucking Sun and Moon, nigga, that's it. We'll know the game full detailed way before the 18th, boys. I'm just letting you know. And some other fun, short, interesting news. We have an Undertale video coming from Smash 5, where them boys over there, they made a flowy trophy for Smash Brothers. The concept of the trophy, you know, relatively simple, but if you've played Undertale, you know damn well that there is nothing simple about flowy whatsoever. This shit gets kind of fucked up, man. And I'll take a look at the video real quick, guys. This shit is gonna fucking bug you out, I swear to God. Look at this shit, man. So hold on, we, yeah. you, see, so you see the shit playing? This is where they kind of like come up with the uh, trophy, yeah, and you see the amazing work these guys put in. So much attention to detail, they, man. So many props to Smash Fight, all those guys. You know, I'm cool with all them props to you guys. But take a look at this, man. They did such a good job. But you notice the glitchiness happening on this video, man? Do you guys, look at this shit. This was a lot of fun. Do you see this shit? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? This shit is crazy. Especially since this came out on Halloween. Like, look at this. Uploaded on October 31st, my boy. They knew damn well the hell they were doing. These motherfuckers, man. I'm, I don't think I'm spoiling anything, do I? Like, I hope I'm not spoiling anything. I don't think I'm spoiling anything here, though, guys. I mean, just the, the, the creepiness of this, man. I'll leave this in the description for you guys. I don't want to share the entire video. I want to leave some uh, creepy surprises for you all. But if you're an Undertale fan, you obviously get where all those references come from. And even if you're not, it's still fucking creepy as hell. Anyways, dudes. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about real quick. I've been working on shit in the background. And I think the mod showcase stuff is finally ready to make a return. So if you're on Twitter, if you ain't following me on Twitter, you should follow me on. Here's my handle right here see it right there but if you are following me on twitter and you want me to cover a mod in a video i have a very interesting new approach to it so you'll be seeing a lot of those videos from me very soon send me mod suggestions i really want to see what's interesting what's hot on the scene i haven't been able to keep up with it too much so i am technically relying on you guys to be able to give me the info show me what the hell is cool out there with the mod showcase stuff show me what's good who's got the hottest mods palette swaps you know whatever the hell you think might get my interest I want you guys to let me know but like one of the things that got my interest i'll tell you uh this much um this one kind of did we have a mod uh idea here um this comes from athena worm I i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right i don't even I, I think this might be like a temporary name i don't know but anyways this person is actually a really cool artist who i follow and they uh, made a poster saying when is the exposed thighs lucina skin coming out i cannot lie to you man that's a damn good idea. So um, if you happen to be a model swapper for Smash 4, you know your way around that field. It's a good idea. That's all I'm saying, man. But anyways, guys, with that, we are going to end this video. Um, if it comes to live streaming, 
I'm gonna give you guys a heads up right now. I do not know when my next one will be, but if you follow me on Twitter, I'll always announce on there ahead of time when I'm gonna be doing one. And trust me, I've ironed out all those issues. I'll make sure they don't happen too often. And uh, I also have some really good news in regards to my capture card. I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but if you watched my previous stream a few days ago, you know what the deal is. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you all in the next video slash stream, whatever it may be. Um, once again, Exposed Thighs Lucina, you can't go wrong. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Peace!